All right, everybody, Pixar's Incredibles 2 is a new trailer. The sequel appears to follow up the events from the first 2004 movie, exploring a new career opportunity for Elastigirl and Mr. Incredibles trials raising baby Jack-Jack as his unwieldy powers terrorize the household. Uh, so uh, let's break down this trailer and point out all the big details that you might have missed. What do you say, guys? Yes, please. All right, first off, this movie looks like it'll pick up immediately where the first movie left off in its final scene, with the family responding to an attack by the Underminer. Uh, by the way, that's Pixar voiceover actor, regular John Ratzenberger doing the voice there. He does a cameo in every movie. Um, and a detail that I actually find interesting about this is the time period. The Incredibles takes place uh, in a um, alternate time period. Uh, check out the cars. I always saw the Incredibles as set in a kind of world that's removed from time, like kind of a classic neo-futurist aesthetic, kind of like uh, the, uh, the 60s view of the future the Jetsons kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, now, some people have pointed out that in the first movie, Bob, uh, Mr. Incredible, reads a newspaper that's dated May 16th, 1962. So that should explain to you why everything is 60 uh, 60-ish design-wise. Uh, it's just, it's they aren't consistent with it because some people say, well, if you actually do the timeline, it's like it's set in the 70s, but it's all, um, they're just going for the 60s aesthetic, which I think is really fun. But let's move on to another detail that um, uh, I noticed in this trailer. The new character voiced by Bob Odenkirk. His name is Winston Dever. He's a corporate hotshot, clearly modeled on Odenkirk's character, Saul Goodman <laughs> from Better, uh, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Uh, now, this character's wife is being played by Katherine Keener, voiced by Katherine Keener. Her name is Evelyn Dever, which is kind of a fun uh, Tom riddle e play on words, revealing probably what her true nature is. Evelyn Dever, evil endeavor. Uh, we'll see what uh, comes from that. There's also this bit uh, with Bob trying to help Dash with his new math homework. New math was actually the name given to a progressive approach to math education in the 50s that was scrapped. And I'm sure if you're a parent <laughs> today, you can probably relate to the new unfamiliar strategies that schools are trying to use to teach kids math. They're like, how has math changed? Math is math. Um, um, and then lastly, check out the logo on Elastigirl's costume. They restored Elastigirl's original logo, um, which was a sleek letter E combined with a letter G, which is part of her original costume before she and, Mr. In, uh, she and Mr. Incredible got married in that opening prologue scene in the first Incredibles movie. It's interesting now that they uh, choose to do away with her lowercase I from the Incredibles family logo on Edna Mode's costumes. Uh, so do you guys think this mean maybe Helen is trying to reclaim her indiv individuality after years of playing? Playing homemaker. Um, what do you guys think about that? And what do you guys think about this trailer in general? Well, I actually re-watched The Incredibles this week because I was just like, I, I knew this was going to come out and I was like, I, I haven't, I watched it one time as a child in the theater and I don't really remember a lot of it. So re-watching it was very fun because it just felt like watching a brand new Pixar movie. Uh, it's amazing, by the way, if you guys haven't watched it in a while, you should definitely check it out. But also picking up right after is a really interesting thing because during that movie, uh, the dad is very, he's being very selfish. Like he's choosing to like go behind his wife and his family's back so that he can like relive the glory days. Mm -hmm. Um, and also there's a fun, uh, oop, there's a fun, uh, bit in when they're talking about no capes and mm -hmm. they actually drop one of the dates that in 58, one of the, that's when, um, the girl got sucked into the airplane engine. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people die in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm very excited. And I like that she now gets the chance. It, it's basically showing that uh, he learned his lesson and is allowing like any, not allowing. She's like, he's just trying to be a better parent and like, he's going to take over like household duties while she gets also right. her chance to be a superhero once again. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting how they're choosing to do this sequel and that they're choosing to do it after, what is it, 14 years later. The listen, rewatch this trailer and listen to the audio from Dash and from Violet. They had to get new voice actors to play those parts because they had kids playing those parts in uh, 2002 or 2003 when they initially, the movie came out in 2004, but um, those, those were kids. They're adults now. Yeah. <laughs> they got uh, kids who sound exactly like Dash and Violet. It's amazing. Uh, the, the, John Ratzenberg. So. John Ratzenberger <laughs> is. <laughs> vocal Amazing. versatility. Man, he's a man of a thousand voices. I'm really curious to see what kind of nods there are going to be, especially since they share a universe yeah. in a way, you know? Yeah, and the Pixar extended universe is uh, extremely dense, and everything's uh, making reference to each other. I know uh, we did a video <laughs> that went into like the logic of the Cars universe. You uh, did, that was and great. then you guys actually we made a, a video, video. Yeah. about explaining the possibility of how all these Pixar movies could be connected. Uh, so check out the video. <laughs> We've also done videos on other Pixar uh, properties, uh, including a full breakdown of Coco, which is one of my favorite movies from last year. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think about this trailer. Um, what are you most excited about uh, about about Incredibles two? Um, um, and yeah, make sure to subscribe to New Rock Stars for 
deep dives into Pixar and all the other movies that you love. Uh, thank you, guys.